Hey guys, welcome back to the range. In the goodie box, I have something that I wanted to show you guys. This is pretty cool. This showed up yesterday. And when it got here, I went, okay, you have my attention now. Check this out. And I know right now someone just someone's brain just melted. This showed up yesterday, and when I opened the box, I pulled out the packages and assembled them. And guys, like immediately, I went, oh, 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 okay. Now we're looking at something cool. Let's get the pack on the back. Okay, let me explain to you why this is such a cool thing. For, for those of us who understand what the mandate is for the armed citizen, it is a simple, how can I put it? It's a simple setup for a very short engagement. And the other facet of that is you want to have support gear for your weapon, for your primary and secondary weapon that is minimalist. Because we're not, as private citizens, we're not going out on patrol. Um, when I saw this, actually, you know what? Too much talking, just just demonstrate, okay. This is where this really got my attention. When this mag runs out, typically with a chest rig, you have to open the flap, or even if it's an open top, you have to pull the mag out, then you have to go around your you have to go around your sling and you have to get the mag in or you can always do this deal but now you got this going on with this it's mag out of the bottom mag into the gun and the ergonomics remain the same it's pull out push in as opposed to pull up um, pull up upend it and then stick it in this makes so much more sense operationally my first question was, will this retain? Will this actually hold the mags in place so far? Guys, these are fully loaded P mags and um, with a 55 grain M193 and they push right up in there beautifully. And thus far, the retention is really good. Um, there is a, there's a lining in here. I'm not quite sure what the fabric is, I'll have to look it up. It feels like Hypalon, and Hypalon is a high-performance fabric that has been used for years for like um, um, motorcycle backpacks that have their high retention that they stick to the rider so that they're not sloshing around on you when you're when you're moving around on your bike. Um, this chest rig really, really got my attention. It was actually one of you here on uh, YouTube that mentioned it to me. I keep calling it a chest rig; it's a bandolier. Uh, one of you here on on, um, on YouTube mentioned it to me, and they said, "Hey, you need to look at the invert bandolier." And I will admit that my first response was, because so many of the products that are suggested to me are Chineseium crap. When I went to this website, I went, "You have my attention," and um, I did some digging, and I really what I saw was a series of well thought out products. That really got my attention and this one and I've got the PDW version here are really cool because what what this bandolier screams to you is stop and what I mean by that is once you have it set up it basically the bandolier basically is saying to you don't add anything else this one has the accessory pouch on the back that has a tourniquet inside and a sharpie marker because if you have a tourniquet you need to have a sharpie marker and if you don't understand why then you don't understand tourniquets. You have to mark on the person's forehead where that tourniquet is on the body so that paramedics can go looking for it because leaving tourniquets on for an extended period of time can cause damage. But anyways, I think I've got like a pair of gloves in here, a tourniquet and a sharpie and that's it. I might add something else but this is the coolest thing ever. And um, last night, um, 
I handed this to a friend who doesn't really know tactical. And as soon as she held it, she goes, oh, that's really light. And that's a point that's worth making because when you hand this product to someone who doesn't understand the industry the way I do, and you get their first response, and the first response is, that's really light, then it tells you that, that it's reaching the customer the way it needs to. The construction of this is top notch. As far as I can tell, it's made in the USA. Um, so yeah, this tag right here. Yeah, made in USA. Um, guys, that is a rarity anymore. For nylon gear, that's a rarity. And listen, here's what you don't understand. A lot of garbage that you find on, on, um, on Amazon looks like this, but it's not this. This is top notch. I've been in the industry for a very long time, and I know what quality, quality looks like. Guys, this is quality. This is really nicely put together. When you start looking at all the details that went into this, you start seeing that effort actually went into it. At first, I thought that these clips were not U.S. made until you look, which camera's never going to pick it up, but you look right there, and this is a U.S. made clip. Um, I use the ones, uh, the Mojaves from Duralast, so they're kind of on the pricey side. Um, that's, what I, that's what I put on my slings, but um, these are really nice. This is a really nicely made bandolier and guys I'm hard on products I am the biggest product snob you have ever met I am so picky because I have so much experience in this industry um, that I am really hard when I'm judging a product man I, I'm not even remotely nice but this one really got my attention the PDW version oh here's the PDW version it takes a little getting used to because I want to get into it like a chest rig, and that's not, that's not the direction you're going with this. You're supposed to put your shooting hand through, then your head, and then connect there. So I've got three, three 21 rounders for a Magpul, the GL9 21 rounders. Um, needle for decompression, tourniquet, Sharpie marker, um, pistol mag here, 17 rounder, and done. See, here's what's interesting about this bandolier. As soon as you get it, you're like, oh yeah, man, I want to add this. And then the bandolier says, stop. By its very nature, by its design, this bandolier says, stop. Go no further. Don't add anything else. Ironically, this one weighs a little bit more than, than the rifle one because pistol mags, pistol ammo is very heavy. So this feels heavier than the other, and yet this one, also, when I handed it to my friend, she went, wow, that's really lightweight. Bingo! This truly is a product that has really captured my attention in, a, in an environment with products that don't capture my attention. There's so very little in this world that does anything for me anymore, um, weapon-wise, because... So much of what is passed off as new isn't. It's already been done. It's very tired. This product really, truly is an attention getter. And once again, what this comes down to is, this is for the guy or gal who realizes, all I need is this much stuff. If I find myself in a situation where I've got to put down an attack, I need this much stuff. The reality of it is, you really only need your handgun. But should you find yourself in a position where you may need a little extra, it's nice to have a little extra. And this bandolier is a little extra. It's not the full-on chest rig. It's not the four mags for a rifle and four or five mags for handgun and medical and extra handgun and then. Uh, integrated into a backpack and blah blah blah. This is just a bandolier. Toss it on, lock it in place with the extra the extra strap, because this extra strap here keeps it from migrating on you. Otherwise, bandoliers, by their very nature, the weight is here, and eventually the bandolier will slowly migrate this way. Not that big a deal. So you just take the extra speed clip and you put it up top, and you're good to go. It also hooks in here to a D-ring. There's a D-ring that's integrated into the bottom of the bandolier. 
I'm going to do a more detailed video on this, guys, but there's a D-ring at the bottom of the bandolier that this could also hook into here. And it kind of changes how it hangs on you a little bit. But there is, with all honesty, there is so very little about this. How can I put that? There is, the design of this bandolier is so minimalist that I just did a mag change and didn't have to do anything crazy to do that mag change. And because this would technically be a partial, you'd, yeah, put it back where it goes. Um, oh, yeah, this is the other thing. Guys, this is not a chest rig. So typically speaking, chest rig, you're talking war belt, you're talking dump bag, dump pouch. So yeah, mag comes out of your gun and it should go back to, let's say that the mag, this mag comes out, fresh mag goes in. Yeah, put it in a dump pouch. If you really wanted to, you could always slide it into a pocket. Or, as you guys have seen me do, I modified my blue jeans by sewing up the middle of the back pocket and the mag goes in. Even a 27 round GL9 for Magpul goes into the back pocket of a pair of blue jeans comfortably. So, I call this a butt rig. Yeah. Guys, if you, don't, if you can't tell, I love this industry because when a product like this comes around and I get my hands on it and I see that there are people who are still innovating, who are really going out of their way to make innovative products that are highly, um, uh, highly produced, well-finished products, that really draws my attention. And IC13 has really, really gotten my attention. And guys, I would highly suggest you get one of these. Um, I'm going to see if they'll actually let me carry these on my website. I don't really know what their structure is for that kind of thing. But guys, these are really cool. So um, I'm going to be doing some more videos with them. In fact, moving forward, you're pretty much going to be seeing this as a standard thing for me. Uh, even more so than the chest rigs. Because this makes more sense for what I do and who I am. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I thank you for your sling purchases and for your donations that keep this channel 100% independent from the industry. Oh, I, actually, yeah, I need to tell you that. Um, for these two bandoliers, I went ahead and I reached out to the company and I asked them, can we trade product for product? So um, I'm sending them four dog leashes and one sling, which I thought was really cool because typically speaking, people want the sling, but um, the gentleman that I talked to wants the dog leashes. Guys, I make the best dog leash in the world, flat out. I've got a friend who trains um, his dogs in the Schutzhund style, and when he first saw my, my, my dog leash, did I say sling? Dog leash. Um, back when my dog was still with us, he went, what? And it was, the thing is like that long, and it's got a really generous loop on one end so you can get your hand in it and then basically grab the scrunched up part of the leash. But the reason the loop is so big is, should your dog get bound up? Uh, if a car, you know, if a car gets a hold of your dog and begins to pull, the leash, because it's made of 4,000 pound webbing, is not gonna give way. And so, by tucking your thumb in, the leash slides right off your hand. Um, then the clasp is a Blue Force Gear HK hook, so it just hooks right onto the dog's D-ring leash, and then you're done. There's a length of bungee inside of it. Same exact amount of bungee that I put in my rifle slings. And um, it creates just enough stretch so the leash goes from roughly that long to about that long. And then it shrinks back down again. And as your dog begins to pull, the leash throttles them back and kind of gets them to chill out and just stay, stay with you. But the leash isn't so long that it gets underneath their paws. And anyone who's ever walked a big dog knows. The leash is constantly getting stuck stuck in their paws, and there's that whole twisty thing that goes on. So anyways, yeah, a uh, gentleman from this company said, yeah, man, send me uh, four leashes and a, and, a, and a rifle sling. And they sent me out the product. So so you guys, I, I want you guys to understand, I don't play the whole I'm media send me free crap game in the industry. I do my best to barter with people for stuff. But um, I'm very pleased with what I've seen in this company. Uh, this is the Ranger Green version. You know, obviously this is black. You know, everything should come in green. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for keeping Tier 1 Citizen independent from uh, industry meddling. And thank you for your donations as well. As always, God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.